And the last question, again, uh, not necessarily um, the hardest question, it's just got some hard bits towards the end, starts with um, something about LED. So why are they good? And the advantage this has in the environment, well, if they use less energy, that means you have less emissions from power stations, so less uh, kind of greenhouse gases, CO2, and so on. Next one, explain the effect um, of the intensity of light on the energy of a photon. Well, there has, this has no effect. There might be less photons landing, but each photon that lands still has the same energy. And then you might talk about uh, relating this to E equals HF, where the energy, energy of the photon just depends on the frequency, not on the intensity of that light. And again, this is kind of where you put these into words. The next question is something that you should be familiar with, which is electron diffraction. Now, electrons, they interact like particles, but they travel as waves. So um, what I said is that electrons travel as waves. Um, they uh, diffract and interfere to produce a pattern. So what you have are the concentric rings here, which is a bit like the pattern, the fringes that we saw in the last question, but like those fringes sort of rotated through sort of 360 degrees. Why do they diffract? Well, it's because you, or you always have maximum diffraction when the wavelength is equal to the gap. And in this case, the de Broglie wavelength, so not de Broglie, but the de Broglie wavelength, is similar to the gap between the carbon atoms that you have in the graphite over here. So I've got my sort of three marks over here. Uh, then some nice calculations. This one here, well, basically, you're, you're accelerating electrons, and therefore, if you accelerate them through a potential difference, the energy gained is equal to the charge multiplied by the PD, and that's equal to the kinetic energy of an individual electron. And therefore, I can rearrange this to say that V is equal to QV over half M square rooted, which is this, and I've worked this out to be 2.053 such and such, which I've got over here. But then we know that the de Broglie wavelength, uh, lambda, is equal to H over MV, so uh, Planck's constant over the particle's momentum. I use the value V over here, which I keep in my calculator. I multiply it by the mass on the, the electron, which you should know, but it's also in your data book, and also Planck's constant, which again, you can just confirm in your data book. You put the numbers in and you get a value of 3.54 times 10 to the minus 11. This is important. It's a show me question. So I've given the answer to one more significant figure, which I can then say that 3.54 times 10 to the minus 11 is approximately equal to 3.5 times 10 to the minus 11. And I think it's this last sentence here which really shows you've actually done the calculation yourself. You haven't just put loads of random numbers in and checked and sort of hoped that it's going to be the right number. Finally, uh, this one here, is this really the last question, the hardest thing? I don't think so. So when de Broglie first put forward his idea, it was new to the scientific community. Describe one way in which they could validate his ideas. Well, they could just replicate it using his method that he shared. So straightforward, bit of kind of general knowledge, and you know, hopefully that will be the right kind of answer. And that is it. So uh, 70 marks available on this paper, 90 minutes. Um, there were some, I thought, incredibly tricky and quite hard questions there. But a lot of it um, you can do. You know, there's nothing there that is outside the specification on the course. There's nothing there that uh, everybody will find easy. So, you know, I don't think many people would be getting 100% on a paper like this. But um, as long as you're doing better than most of the rest of the country and you keep watching these videos, then I'm sure you'll do absolutely fine uh, in the exams that you have in the summer. So I hope that's been useful. Oh, I hope that's been useful. Thank you very much.